So I want to show you how to add HTML5 video to a Muse site. You guys, there are 6,000 ways. Let me actually open up Muse. There, and this is Muse CC, by the way, which is the latest and greatest, which just came out, well, today. Anyway, there's 50 ways to do this. Um, one of the ways that I found that's the easiest, I think, that will give you some control, uh, not a lot of control, but some control, is to use what's called VideoJS. If you go to the web and you search for videojs.com, you'll come to the website and you'll see this open source video player. And what it does is it uses a little bit of JavaScript, it uses CSS, and it uses the HTML5 tag to get the video to work. The thing is, you don't have to do much here, okay, which is awesome. If you want to take this further, you can take it really far if you want to. You can edit the CSS yourself, you can do all kinds of crazy things. But anyway, let's get started. Once you go to the site, you can come over here and say, all right, let's customize this. You're going to customize the play button here. So you can click on this and say, hey, let's make it red. Uh, let's change the, the glow. Let's change the inner color if we want to do different something or other. It's your call. Okay, I'm going to make this look, wow, that looks really bad. Anyway, let me pause. And then we can go out and do things like change the size of different things. And that's that's about it. I know some of you are going to be like, well, can I do more? Well, yes, you can, but you it's not going to be as easy as I'm about to show you. Now, here's what we do. See this button right here? Embed this player. <laughs> Click on that button. You're going to see this. In the head, we need to add this content. So what I want you to do is just select this stuff, copy it. Okay, You're going to do it just about any way you know how. Go over to Muse, create a site. Okay, I've got a site here I created. Open up the page, and you can do this if you want to on the master. There's a couple ways you can do this, but I'll go to a single page because I want it to show on, let's say, one page. Go to page and go to page properties. Like I said, we could go to the master page and add head content if we wanted to, but I'll choose page properties. Make sure metadata is selected, that option and come down here to HTML for head and just paste. That's pretty much a big part of it, okay? All right, now what we need to do is we need to add the HTML5 to the page itself. So click OK. Go back over to that website and you're gonna see in the body. Scroll down and copy this. Now they don't, this is kind of interesting, but with HTML5 forever and a day, what we've been doing is we've been using an MP4, WebM, and OG Theora, or o OG uh, V. They have not included the OGG, or the OG Theora, if you will, because it was for certain fireworks versions that are a little bit older and some people don't care about that anymore. I'll show you a way to add that if you want to, if you care about older versions of fireworks. Now this script, which is really cool, by the way, why don't you go ahead and copy this stuff, so copy. This script is going to make it so there's also a flash fallback for like IE and different things using MP4 and a flash player and that kind of thing. We can close this if we want to. Go back over to Muse and just paste. Edit, paste. The really cool thing about adding HTML to Muse is if you paste, it's just going to stick it out there, which is really cool. Once it sticks it out there, you'll see that it's going to create this weird teeny little blue box with like an icon in the upper left corner. If you're really crazy about it like I am, you can kind of stretch it to fit the size. You don't have to. And then put your video where you want it to. I'm going to say, let's stick it right there. Okay, that's pretty much it. Now what we can do is go preview it if we want to. So we'll go to File, Preview Page in Browser. It should open up a browser for you. And it'll try for a couple seconds here to load. And you can go and play. And it might, your internet connection might be a little slow or fast, whatever, depending and it may or may not play. I'm not sure if they had um, actual videos in there. Did they have videos in there? Nope, they didn't. Okay, so we gotta add our own videos. All right, that's why it's not playing. <laughs> All right, so go back to Muse. Now this is the, uh, the weird part. We need to create the different video file formats, the two different formats. We need to have the MP4, and we've gotta have the other, and the other, sorry to bounce back and forth, being the WebM. Now, I, you can do this a bunch of different ways. There are 50,000 ways to get the video file formats you need, these two formats. Uh, one, one way that I do it is use something called Miro Video Converter, and it allows you to choose formats. So you can drag a, a video file like an MOV or different formats on here and then 
convert it to the right file formats if you want to. You can use this. There's Adobe Media Encoder. There's 50,000 other ways to do it. Once you get the video files, I'm going to go back over to Muse. Once you get the video files, we need to upload them. Okay, We need to put them somewhere so we can use them. Now, if you're hosting with Adobe using the publish method and this kind of thing, then it's going to be pretty easy, to be honest. If you're using another method, another host rather, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to upload the video files to the host, get the URLs for the video where they are up on the host, and then we're going to put them in. Okay, I'm going to show you how to do it if you're publishing with Adobe. So what I want you to do is click on publish and we're going to publish a temporary site with this, just a temporary file. So if you go to site name and just type in um, my, now yours is going to be awesome. Yours is going to be different rather, okay? My awesome temp site, type in some name. If it's already taken, it'll tell you. Click OK. It's going to publish the site. It's going to open a browser eventually and show you, hey, here's the files and here's everything that's going on. Now, the really cool thing about this video is that we only need to take the video files, upload them to Adobe here, to upload them to, or publish them to Adobe. The rest of the files, the JavaScript, the CSS, all that stuff, we're linking to that video's file, uh, video server. So we're linking to that, um, these guys, we're linking to video.js to get the, the other content. You can see it right here. All right, it's gonna take a second to publish. Once it does, you'll see it'll go out and show you the file, and there we go. Now we need to add our videos. Now, just to give you an idea here, let me go back out to my uh, desktop real quick and I'll show you. I actually have a couple here that I wanted. I've got the MP4 and I've got the others. So like I said, we're just gonna use the um, uh, the other one, the WebM and the MP4. So in Muse, what I wanna do, I've got the file here, come to file, and we're gonna choose add files for upload. Click on that. Go find the videos you wanna upload, the MP4 and the WebM, open them up. Go to your assets panel over here and you should see them sitting over here. Now, this is kind of weird, but it, what it's gonna do is if you publish with Adobe, it's gonna push these up there to the server, but we, we need the link once they're up there on the server. We need to get the link for the final video files. So how do we get that? Well, I can, I'll cheat and I'll tell you, just, I'll just tell you what it is essentially, or I'll show you. First of all, what I wanna do is let's publish. Go ahead and click on publish. It's going to publish to the same. If you guys already had a site created and you already had a domain and all that stuff, it's the same method. Just go ahead and publish it. It's going to go and check everything, make sure everything's working. And it's going to take the video files. And I'll just kind of skip this part. It's going to take a few minutes to upload the video files. Okay, here we go. So it just showed me the file, that's fine, don't worry about this. I'm gonna go back over to Muse. We just uploaded the video files and they're now up on the Adobe server. So what do we do next? Well, if you come to the HTML here and you right click on it and choose edit HTML, this is the video that we pasted, the HTML we pasted, you're gonna see the stuff that got pasted. Now, we need to change the links here from my video or whatever they put in there to the videos we just uploaded. You guys, just easy, quick, easy way to see this. It's actually the name of your URL slash assets slash the name you see over here. That's typically the way it works. So for my site, just bear with me for one second. If I go back to publish, take a second. It's my awesome, my awesome temp site.businesscatalyst.com slash assets slash one of the video files. So I'm gonna cheat here, I'm cheating you guys. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy, I clicked on that link, I'm gonna copy this right here. This is the URL. I'll go back over to Muse, I'll click Cancel, come to the HTML, right click, edit it, come in here to my video and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna paste. So I'm gonna paste the URL. Now if you notice, I'm gonna put in assets all of our sites on Business Catalyst currently do this, you guys. So you should feel pretty secure if you do this. 
playground.mp4. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing for this one, but I'm going to make sure that the ending is different. So I'll copy paste playground dot. Now I've got some funky naming going on here, so I'll put dot web mdhd. It's just telling it's an HD version, and that's pretty much it. If you want to put a different poster right here, the poster is the image that you see initially. You could upload the same way that we uploaded these videos under the file menu. You could upload those. You could put the same URL, something, your URL slash assets slash name of the, the image file. And a poster is the, the image that shows up first. And you want the videos and the poster to be the right size and the same size. And by the way, you're going to notice that in this script, the stuff we put pasted in here, make sure that these width and height match your video files. They're not going to match mine exactly, but you can also see that we can add, if we want these to autoplay the video, you can come in here to video where it says uh, class and type in autoplay space. And you make sure you spell it right. Really? There we go. This this uh, JavaScript and all this, this uh, video player that they have is really powerful. There's tons you can do. They actually even have skins and different things that you can change if you know how to work with CSS, but it it takes a little bit longer. So, so that's it. If you want to get crazy, you can also, in front of the closing video tag, you can type in text right here and say, sorry, you're not supported, that type of thing. This is an HTML5 thing. You can actually put code, you can even put like paragraph tags and things like that within the closing video tag to say to, to browsers or people that don't have a, um, a browser that supports this video file format that it won't work. So Now if you decide you want to go crazy and you want to add the third type, which is the AUGV, you can basically just copy paste this. You can also, let me show you this real quick. This is kind of cool. If you go here and search, what I would do you guys is search for GitHub video.js and this is kind of an older version of the setup. It shows you another way to set up you can copy paste the video tag from here and it includes the AUGV, the WebM, and the MP4 and you can just use that if you want to. So it's, it's actually kind of cool. A lot of things we can do here. There are tons of attributes. Anyway, last step here in Muse. I'll click OK. Go ahead and publish. Make sure we're all published. Everything's set up there. It'll take a second. Video should already be up there. And there we go. Bam. It's pretty cool. So if you want to change the colors, let's say down here on the play bar, if you want to change the player button, you can always go back to Muse. You can right click on the HTML, choose edit HTML, and you're going to see that we've got some of our content here, um, which is the video file for content. Now I, I kind of screwed up for a second there. If you want to change the colors, I mean you can do this. Come under page, page properties, and you're going to see right down here Here's some of the CSS that they included when we copied and pasted, and you can try changing the colors of these and different things if you know how to do it. That's the key. Anyway, that's one way to include HTML5 video in your site.